Hello everyone and welcome to following Swift Evolution. In this video I want to talk to you about a proposal that has been quite unnoticed in the release 4.2 and it's the fact that we can now rebind self from a weak to a strong reference. I've been looking into it and I think it has been quite unnoticed because the proposal was just implemented suddenly even if it was deferred for a while until Daniel made this forum post with the implementation of this proposal done. There was some conversation around it, but it was not, as far as I know, an official review process at all. Like, people was quite in favor of it, there was some people talking about some alternatives, until Chris Latner replied and agreed that it was the right approach to do and just make self behave as a normal identifier in the language and let him in that way just be rebindable and you can shadow it. Basically I have here a quite simple example where we have a, an API class with a callback like the typical stuff that we are used to and if we make this call to the API like obviously here we want to for example print uh, the result in this case it's just a string, it doesn't really matter, it's just to have something to, to talk about. Obviously, in these cases, we all know that we need to be careful with retain cycles, with closures, capturing self, and all that stuff. So, for example, if here, in this case, we wanted to do something with self, like this now, it's capturing self and it's basically making a reference cycle. To do this, the typical way and safer way, it's just to capture self weekly. But now the issue is that self inside the closure is a weak variable, which means that it's optional. So, or we need to do this, which is perfectly fine if it's just a one-liner. But more typically, what we want to do is get a strong reference to self and guard if it's not possible to get it. So, for example, if the typical way of doing it, it's doing this magic trick. And here we choose return, whatever, doesn't matter. So here we are just capturing self and using these backticks to reference self as an identifier instead of as a keyword. This, it has been known for a while, like officially the stand from the core team is that this is a bug in the compiler, the fact that this thing works. But they didn't fix it because they know that this is the what people has been doing for a while and it will break. So what this proposal changed is the fact that you don't need to use the backtick anymore. Now you can just do the obvious thing, which is let self equal self. And yes, it's quite funny because all this line, it's full, basically. If you look at the colors from Xcode, it's basically just Swift keywords in one line. All of them are Swift keywords. But now we basically have what we have been waiting for, like just self equal self. It's what everybody has tried in the first place to do. And when it didn't work, we obviously had to, to use this backtick weird thing. So now this works. As I said, the proposal was not in official review. I think maybe I'm mistaken, but there was a lot of conversation about it. A lot like some proposals uh, were about a topic that has been coming around for a while in Swift evolution, which is the introduction of a guard self using guard here as a specifier for the capture list which basically will disagree to this thing this is not being moved forward in all these years maybe in the future we have it or maybe the language improves in some way where we don't even need to do this for now and that's it the proposal changed from deferred to implementing with the pr merge it's already on Swift 4.2 the old way as we just saw still compiles the other way of doing it is using a strong cell but i find it quite ugly and now it works fine so it doesn't really matter you can just use this new this new syntax and yeah maybe in the future we see this guard capture closure that they are talking about about, but we'll see for now this is a nice small change for the language that it's gonna impact a bunch of code because a lot of people guards in this way i'm really happy that they implemented this in the language without much complaining about it kudos to daniel for doing this implementation change on the compiler and you can also even check his youtube channel where he does some nice stuff with swift that it's quite interesting to learn about if you enjoyed this video please like it and subscribe to the channel to get the new videos following swift evolution thank you and see you next time